A lot of times when you hear the word hijab, it sounds like the complete opposite of being feminine, of being classy and even elegant. But today I want to show you seven ways, seven rules actually, that you can follow to become classy yourself. Assalamualaikum everyone and welcome back or welcome to my channel. If this is your first time seeing me, I'm Zainab and today I want to focus on the rules you need as a hijabi to become classy and elegant. Starting with number one which is to invest in your hijabi must-haves. As a hijabi, you need to make sure that you have the proper collection to get started, meaning that you want to have your scrunchies like pins, like underscores, and proper hijabs. So my recommendation would be to invest in maybe four to five colors, black, white, nude, and maybe another warm color or cold color depending on your undertones. So I have a pink nude that I really like that's really pretty and complement my skin and it really makes me feel good and it makes me feel elegant and chic. And I think that in your wardrobe, you want to make sure that you have modest essentials. So everything that's going to be t-shirts, long sleeves, uh, leggings, dresses, uh, two pieces, sets, and so on and so forth you have in your closet. Because once you have that, then you are able to mix match and to really create outfits that look elegant, look classy, and put together. However, don't throw everything away and, you know, start buying new things without a list, without making sure that you know what you're supposed to get. But try to add little by little, you know, and invest in quality because that's very important also. The second rule that classy hijabi follow is to gravitate towards neutral colors. Now, you might be somebody that loves color and that's fine, but I really believe that when you want to look elegant and put together, you have to invest in neutral color schemes like everything that's going to be white black maybe gray nudes light blues and olives are colors that you want to choose all the time time and time again why because once you pick maybe one or two colors it still go together even though those are colors that you might not think would go together did you and a lot of times when you gravitate towards those colors you are able to really make everything work together don't you feel sometimes that you have nothing to wear because nothing goes with everything i don't know if you understand what i'm trying to say but a lot of times you have a very cute jumper but the thing is we have a t-shirt that doesn't go with it because it has a graphic on it and if you had just a plain white tee or a plain black tee it would have been the perfect outfit that's exactly what i'm trying to say but that doesn't mean that you cannot wear color. I love to wear color from time to time, but the way to do it is with accessories. So maybe, you know, you can do that with a bag, with a shoe, with um, maybe a scarf. I mean, not a hijab, but a scarf that you would put under your jacket or something like that. You want it to make it an accent. You don't want it to be the focus of the outfit. Rule number three is to stack up your rings. Because I wear colors that are neutral, my outfit don't scream, um, what's the word, complicated, you know? And something that really elevates your style and your outfit, just like that, are rings and are jewelry. Because I wear my hijab, I don't put necklaces. I mean, I know I could, but I don't want to be in that trend where, you know, like I put my hijab completely back just so that you can see my necklace. No, I want to cover my chest, but I know that if I wear a beautiful watch or beautiful rings, like you can see right here, it elevates my outfit. It makes me look chic, like I'm expensive, you know, like I got money, like Jacob. Yeah. Bring me a sandwich. Yeah. No, no tomatoes. Thank you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So yeah, you want to look expensive but on a budget. And you don't even have to spend tons of money to look good. These rings that you see right here, most of them, I got them from um, H&M. They're really good looking. They don't look fake. They look great. And you know, that's, that's a great addition to my wardrobe. It's simple. It's inexpensive, but it looks put together. And that's something that I always want to look like like i'm expensive like i've tried but i haven't tried too hard number four is to implement the maintenance day 
as a woman as a hijabi you have to maintain your body because it is your temple and what i like to do is every saturday i take some time to just take extra care of my body so i would do a lot of deep skincare i would shave i would exfoliate my skin make sure that my lips are nice and soft because a lot of the time they are crusty and nobody likes that my husband doesn't like that <laughs> but yeah anyways tmi uh, you want to make sure that you spend extra care on your body on your appearance that you trim your hair that you clip your nail that everything looks nice because looking good is not only about looking expensive it's about looking neat looking clean it start with your hygiene and it start with you know yeah you get it but it's very important i cannot emphasize how important it is and sometimes i get tired and i don't want to do it but when i do i feel amazing because when you feel good then you look good number five try the monochromatic look something that you can do if you feel like you have nothing to wear and that you're running out of time and it, you, you don't have the brain capacity to to put an outfit together just because the thing that you really wanted to wear is dirty it's in the laundry bag and you can you cannot get it so what do you do the easiest way to put look together is to do a all white all black all olive kind of outfit an outfit that's just one color because it looks like a straight line and it makes you look tall elegant flowy and flawless that's something that i really like and you don't even have to spend a lot of money you can just put a sweater that's white with a white shirt with a very nice skirt or very nice white trousers and it looks very put together like you haven't tried too hard and it really saves you a lot of times on those days that you don't know what to wear but you still want to look chic and elegant number six good posture and behavior when you want to be classy it starts with the way you behave the way you carry yourself because i have a very bad habit of always sitting like down like this and it doesn't look chic it doesn't look put together it doesn't look like i'm well mannered but when you stand tall not like you're being cocky but you are being confident and you walk with grace and elegance it really like transform you aura and it really transform the way people see you and perceive you a lot of times we don't know this but the first impression people have of us is usually the one that stick with them and you want to make sure that you don't only impress people but you are the best version of yourself and that starts with the way you carry yourself and that starts with the way you behave in society with your family members with people outside strangers and even your friends because that says a lot about a person, the way you behave and the way you conduct yourself in society and in different situations. Last but not least, number seven, it is to find your hijab style. Depending on your face shape, some hijab styles are going to look better than others. So I know that for me, I have a round face, but I like to make it seem like I have a more oval face because I feel like it suits my face better and what i mean by hijab style is not what you see on instagram where people don't really cover the chest because proper hijab it covers your hair it covers your ears your neck and your chest and i want to make sure that when i do my hijab i do something that fits my face and that frames it properly because when i don't feel good in my hijab i don't look good it makes me feel ugly but ever since i found the style that suits my face i feel better and i feel prettier i encourage you to really do an experiment find the style that really suits your face for me it's to um to close the hijab here and to fold it that way it doesn't look like i'm i have too much like i have too big cheek it looks like i'm a little you know like snatched even though i'm not but we move, we carry, <laughs> it's okay. But find your style and have fun with it, you know, but still make sure that you are covered properly. And that concludes today's video. I hope that you found it helpful. Thank you so much for watching. And I can't wait to catch you in the next video, inshallah. XOXO, Zainab Empowers. Mwah.